Good morning. Today we're here at the Kroger Marketplace. We're going to go and check out some of the prices, some of the things you guys have asked about, and check the shelves. Let's get to it. Okay, since we come into Kroger Marketplace, the one deal that I forgot to mention the other day on Wednesday, they have their Campbell's Chunky Soup here. Two for three dollars. It's a good deal. Dollar fifty a can. Also, today is November 18th, 2022. Had a lot of comments about the cream of soups that they have at Kroger here on the digital coupon. You do have to use the digital coupon. You can use up to five times uh, mix or match these. You can only get five five of them. So you can get three cream of soups, two things of cream of chicken, five things. You can only get five. And it is only cream of chicken and cream of mushroom soup. Does not include cream of potato or cream of celery. You can tell they're really selling the Del Monte canned vegetables here. We are starting to notice some inconvenience stickers here on the Del Monte, which is a little, little concerning. Um, I haven't seen inconvenience stickers on Del Monte probably ever. And uh, yeah, they are a dollar a can this week though, so I would make sure you, uh, if you like Del Monte, I would pick them up while you can, 10 for 10. I did point this out in Wednesday's video. Again, if you happen to miss that, I will leave that video in the description box below um, where we go over a lot more of the sales produce and some other meats and stuff. But I wanted to point out the turkeys again. Butterball is $1.49 a pound here at Kroger, but you can still get the Kroger or Honeysuckle turkeys for $0.49 cents a pound. Now, that's a digital coupon. Uh, you can only use it once. And you have to spend $25 extra to get that deal. Some people were asking about just turkey breasts. They do have them here. The honeysuckle is $2.49 a pound. They also have the pride of the farm turkey breast here. And these are expensive. $2.99 a pound. This little one here is $22.84. Again, Kroger's has tons of digital coupons this week. Um, you may just want to go, you know, if you're sitting at home, you're getting ready to go to Kroger, use your phone or your laptop or computer and just clip all the coupons and link it to your account, you know, as you want. You know, sometimes some people have been telling me that they've had trouble clicking them all. I don't seem to have an issue with that. Sometimes I'll just sit there and I'll just I'll just click every one of them till. But yeah, it's probably good to just click the ones that you know you're going to use. Um, another good one here that I think I missed the other day. Kroger peanut butter, 15 to 18 ounces. $1.29 on the digital coupon. That's a good deal. One thing we missed in Wednesday's video is the hams that they have here. Uh, now, the other Kroger we were at didn't have many, so I wanted to wait till we got to the marketplace here to check out what all they have. I always recommend going to a Kroger marketplace if you have a Kroger Marketplace because they're a lot bigger uh, and they carry a lot more stuff. They do have the Cumberland Gap half hams and whole hams. $3.99 a pound for the half, $3.79 a pound for the whole. They do have the Crunchy Glaze Spiral Hams here, $4.49 a pound, and the Honey Smoked Spiral Half Hams for $3.49 a pound. Now, I want to say they have the uh, just a regular half ham at the market pantry at Target for 89 cents a pound. So if you have a Target near you, 89 cents a pound, that is amazing. That is the cheapest we found anywhere. They do have the brown sugar spiral ham here for $2.79. Uh, the second lowest priced ham that we've seen is the Cook's pork shank portion, $1.79 a pound here at Kroger. Um, yeah, that next to the one at Target for 89 cents a pound. This is the cheapest one we've found. So when we went to Target the other day, we saw that they had a bunch of the Food Saver products on sale. Thought I'd come over here and check out the Marketplace. Um, they're not on sale, and it looks like they might have ripped a sticker off here. So I don't know if they started to put it up, and then maybe they weren't on sale. I don't know. We like to always check this stuff because we literally get hundreds of comments on Food Saver products. Um, this one right here. So this Food Saver machine, uh, different color, but it's the same thing at Target is on sale for $99. $99. That's a great deal. Also, some of their vacuum seal rolls, as we checked out this one at Target here, $49.99 here. It is regular price of $49.99 at Target, but they have it on sale for $44.99, so you can save $5. Again, like every week, if you happen to miss our video where we cover a lot of the digital coupons, 
and stuff like that at Kroger. Lots of ways that you can save. I will leave that video in the description box below in case you happen to miss that. Also, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. We do this every day. Not usually something I point out at Kroger, but I will today. And really, we point out all the great sales we see. Uh, Instapot Duo here, 6 quart on sale for $79.99. Regular price here, $120. So I almost feel like we can probably find a better deal on this, maybe on Black Friday or something. Well, this, this even says shop early Black Friday, $79.99. But I would check some other places like maybe Walmart or Target. But for this, I mean, regularly $120, that's a great deal. Somebody was asking about breakfast sausage. Just wanted to point out that Kroger's does have their sausage links on sale, too, for $5. Uh, they are regularly $3.29, and they have the Bob Evans roll sausage, too, for $7. One, regularly $4.29. So whoever asked about the breakfast sausage, got some okay deals going on here. Some people were asking about some pre-made dishes here of Bob Evans. Looks like they've got out a lot of their holiday ones here. They got the broccoli and cheese. Haven't seen that in a long time. They got the mashed sweet potatoes right here. I will say the home style Kroger mashed potatoes is really good. You do need to add like a little more butter, but it's only $2.50 uh, for one of these. That's a pretty good deal. Looking at that sausage over there, I was like, you know, we never really go over breakfast items. So here we are. Uh, they do have... The maple sausage patties and traditional here. Same price as the Lynx. $2.50, that's a pretty good deal. They've got the Simple Truth, which is going to cost a little more. It's organic. Uh, $3.50 on sale. Uh, it says two for seven, but you don't have to buy two of them. Uh, they got the Gleer's Getta here. Uh, $7.49. I know that sounds like a lot. I'll tell you what, I mean, yeah, it's gone up over time, but that is great Getta right there. And those of you who don't know, it's kind of a Cincinnati thing. Uh, it's like, it's oatmeal sausage with some other spices. Really good stuff. One of my favorites, which continues to go up in price, even the sale price is more than what the regular price was last year, uh, Tennessee Pride. Uh, my opinion, some of the best sausage there is. Digital coupon alert on sliced cheese of the Kroger brand this week, $1.49 for 8 ounce pack of sliced cheese. Not bad there, you can use up to 5 times. And that does include the sliced cheese as well. $1.49, and this is, I uh, believe this is separate. I think you can use this up to five times too. Um, you would just have to check. if it, it, it won't allow you to flip the coupon if, if it covers both of the sliced uh, and the shredded. So I'm pretty sure this is a separate clipped coupon. Um, but yeah, I'm not 100% sure. $1.49 though, that's a great deal. That digital coupon does apply to the bricked cheese as well. $1.49, down a dollar on the digital coupon. Let me know down below uh, if, if you know if you can use this for each item. Like, can, I, can you get five of these, five of the shredded cheese, five of the sliced cheese? I'm starting to think that you can't. I may ask somebody here. This place is very crowded right now, so I'm trying to just kind of maneuver around. Mountain of Philadelphia cream cheese, two for five dollars. We saw these for a dollar eighty-nine a piece at Meyer. You guys will be seeing this on Saturday morning, so Meyer sale ends on Saturday. So if you have a Meyer, there's still time to get that dollar eighty-nine brick of Philadelphia cream cheese. Um, and I'm sure we probably will see some more sales on this too as uh, we get closer to Thanksgiving. We're less than a week away from Thanksgiving, so it is crunch time. They are out of the two packs here, unfortunately, but that does bring it down to $2 a piece with the digital coupon. You know, there are so many digital coupons. This is probably the most digital coupons I've ever seen at Kroger. Um, it's unfortunate because I know a lot of people don't, you know, like to use digital coupons, but I mean, it's really the only way we're going to save this week at Kroger anyway. Great deal on Kroger butter. Uh, salted and unsalted digital coupon, $2.99. That is $2 off. Uh, I hope people were able to stock up on Land Lakes last week. It was $3.49 on digital coupon. Now the price is $6.49, which it continues to go up. I mean, it's great. Butter is just going through the roof. Uh, $2.99. 
you can use the uh, or get the Kroger butter five times. So you can buy five of these on the digital coupon for two ninety nine. We've gotten a couple comments on Jimmy Dean, and that you haven't been able to find some of it. Now we had this issue last year, as most of you probably remember. They were out everywhere. I mean, it was completely gone. I don't even think we started getting it back in until after Christmas. I noticed that the eight count of the Jimmy Dean went up from eleven ninety nine to twelve ninety nine. So they did raise a buck. These went up. These were up two dollars since about the beginning of summer. They were fifteen ninety nine for a little while. Uh, now they're sixteen ninety nine. Oh, it's just man, everything just keeps going up in price. Seven twenty nine for the biscuits down here. Um, that's the same price as it's been for a while. We got a comment on concentrate, like orange juice concentrate here, um, and that you haven't been able to find any. It's been very low in a lot of crowd. I haven't pointed it out much because we haven't got any comments, but since we did, I did want to show it's it's been low everywhere. Um, there is a sale going on, three for five dollars, making them a dollar sixty-seven each. But yeah, it's definitely this is normally packed. Somebody left a comment about a week ago that you haven't been able to find Cool Whip. Um, you know, I didn't pay any attention. I, you know, we are less than a week away from Thanksgiving, so I'm sure this stuff's getting bought up. It is $1.19, um, but yeah, it is near empty, and they don't have hardly any of the Kroger either, and I'm starting to wonder if maybe they've stopped a lot of the Kroger, because this is only two areas here. It used to be three. Cool Whip used to be the three at the bottom here. Kroger was, was the three at the top. So I don't know. That's a... Uh, yeah. I mean, again, this could have a lot to do with Thanksgiving. Um, but yeah, something we need to keep an eye on for sure. I did want to cover a lot of the frozen items today because we've had comments building up. One of them that kind of concerned a lot of people was the Marie Calendar Pies. Apparently a lot of... I'm not a big fan of Marie Calendar pies. I, you know, I like the pumpkin, just all this kind of stuff. I'm not, I, the apple's okay. Um, just wanted to show they do have them and they are on sale right now. Good deal, actually. This one right here, the cherry pie, uh, which I've never tried, so I don't know. The cherry pie may be really good. $5.99 for that. Uh, they got an interesting, like, birthday cake pie here, $5.99. They've got the chocolate brownie cream pie, somebody mentioned in the past. But they're all on sale, $5.99. They got the key lime, they got the chocolate satin pie, uh, banana cream. Yeah, so they're, they're getting them in here. It's a little low, but again, this is another item I'm sure is getting bought up for Thanksgiving. So we got a comment on baby formula a few days ago, and I just wanted to check to make sure that Kroger Marketplace here was getting some in. I do gotta say, this is more than they've had in a long time, and I know it still looks very low, but they're definitely getting in more, and that's great to see. Uh, I've gotten great comments on the bubs. Thank you to our Australian friends here. I mean, that is really awesome. A lot of people have uh, been very satisfied with that. Um, yeah, it, it looks better here now than it has in months. We are always getting comments on bird's eye uh, vegetables here. And, you know, some people don't worry about the prices. You know, if this is what you like, this is what you like. I completely understand. Um, $1.99 for these steamables here on the digital coupon. And this is the one we get some comments on, the steam fresh mixed vegetables. $1.99, that is down from $2.79, so a little bit cheaper this week. Wanted to come over and check out the Kroger vegetables here, frozen vegetables. Begin a lot of comments. Uh, that frozen vegetables have been very hard to find across the country. Uh, a lot of places have been out. Uh, Kroger's has them, but it does come at a price. $1.25 for 12-ounce bags of the regular run-of-the-mill corn peas, green beans. I'm really surprised that they did not lower these prices right before Thanksgiving. That seems, I don't know, that's very expensive. Usually they would lower these for to a dollar a bag, and, you know, it should be less if you ask me. We got a comment a few videos back that someone hasn't been able to find orange juice or that it's been very low. Um, Kroger's has their Simply Orange on sale, two for seven dollars. Doesn't seem like too big of an issue here. You know, it seems lower on the bigger jugs of it though. Usually this is completely full. We see some inconvenience stickers down here. Um, but yeah, we uh, definitely got a good amount here. Um, I would check Kroger or a locally owned Kroger store uh, you might want to check with them because 
I don't know. I, I know a few months ago we had an issue with orange juice. And it could be an issue again. Definitely something we want to keep an eye on. Here's something interesting. I have never seen Fago sold at Kroger before. I've seen it sold at Meyer. We used to see it uh, sold at Biggs years ago. But, uh, yeah, I wonder if this is an attempt for Kroger to get a uh, soda pop product in to sell for cheaper. But these are 24 ounces for 99 cents. That seems a little expensive for Fago. Um, yeah, it's interesting, though. So we got another comment on Vandekamp's fish and how you haven't been able to find it. Uh, yeah, they don't even have a spot here for it. I don't know what's going on. Uh, did Vandekamp go out of business? I sure hope not. Um, but they have the Gortons here. But yeah, no Vandekamp's at all. These are Kroger burgers. They've completely, it used to be right here. This was Vandekamp's. This was uh, Gortons right here. I don't know. Well, this is all like frozen burgers and stuff. I got some turkey burgers, butterball. Yeah, this is crazy. Nobody requested it, but I did want to point out that the El Monterey burritos that had gone up to $4.99 a few months ago have gone up again to $5.99. I used to like the beef and bean here. Don't really get them much anymore. It's pretty expensive, $6 for those. I mean, I thought $5 was expensive for them. Uh, I remember I was paying uh, $3.48 for these at Walmart maybe a year and a half ago, so definitely gone up. Okay, so I wanted to do a quick look at the pet food. I gotta say, um, canned dog food's looking pretty good. Um, you know, I mean, there's still some holes. I feel like there's gonna always be. I mean, it's been like this. At least they're getting in a lot more than they were this time last year. This, this was empty last year are low on some dog food and we will continue to see inconvenience stickers in different spots i mean it's you know but there, there is a ton and we haven't really had any comments on pet food lately so i'm assuming that everybody is getting it let us know down in the comments uh if you have are still having an issue with pet food again we always kind of direct people to chewy.com we have a lot of viewers on the channel that use chewy.com and they love it uh, anything in their service area, uh, $49 gets you free shipping. So always remember that. Hey, they got these canine carryout dog snacks here for less than what they have uh, at Dollar Tree. Well, I guess regular price, $1.25, but 10 for 10 this week. Got some good comments on these. They do have a good amount of dry cat food, and I'm seeing some sales here too. Uh, oh, low price on the uh, Meow Mix. I might be going up. $4.99. The funny thing is that it's actually come down because this was up to $5.29 regular price. And we saw where it dropped a little while ago to $4.99, but now they have low price on it. Every time we see that, you guys know what happens. A week or two later, it goes up. Uh, they do have the Friskies Gravy Swirlers here, $4.95 on sale, and some other random uh, sales here. Good to see that this stuff is starting to come in more and more though um you know and it, like the dog food we're gonna always see inconvenience stickers stuff that they can't get in but look at this i mean this is the most fancy feast i've seen in a while at kroger anyway um yeah lots of friskies same prices uh 80 cents a can uh 90 cents a can for fancy feast we've seen where some uh some of them have gone up we saw a dollar general uh, and a couple other places, Friskies has gone up to 85 cents a can, 95 cents a can for fancy fees. Sometimes we can find some sales on that. Another big one, though, that we, um, cat litter seems to be low uh, in a lot of different places right now. Uh, we hardly ever see uh, any of the lovesome. They do actually have a couple up here. It's a little more expensive for this one, though. Uh, and tidy cats, they always seem to have a few. Well, look at this. Eggs have dropped down to $2.99, 12 count. These were $3.39 last week. Uh, we've gotten a couple comments that eggs have dropped uh, some of their prices in some of your areas. Let's check out the 18 count. Ooh, look at this. 18 count eggs. And see, now when they sell them for this price, you think this is a good deal. You know, and it's a shame. But I mean, it is compared to $5.09 of what it was last week. $5.09 for 18 count eggs last week. This week, $4.39. Much better deal. Just found a good deal here on the Brawny. Uh, eight triple rolls here, which equals 24 regular rolls. $20.99. Regular price on that, $27.99. So, I mean, we don't buy brownies, so 
I don't, you know, there may be a better deal out there, but anything that is $7 off something kind of draws my attention. Hey guys, while well, I'm back from Kroger, look who I found. Hello. <laughs> so wanted to make a quick note of the cheese. The uh, brick cheese, shredded cheese, and sliced cheese is all part of the same digital coupon. You can mix or match, but you can only use five times. So you can get a, a couple packs of uh, sliced cheese, a pack of shredded cheese, a couple things of the brick cheese, but it can only add up to five. So that kind of stinks. But um, guys, <laughs> hope you have a wonderful weekend. Thank you so much for watching today. With all that being said, we are out. And always remember the adventure. Hello. <laughs>